This is a short lecture about code introspection. And code introspection is the process of examining your functions and your features uh, so that you know what they are and you know what they can do. And in Python there are a few functions and techniques you need to know about for retrieving such uh, information. Let's take as an example the pandas library. So what we want to know is uh, what the, the, the pandas library is about and what functionalities uh, the library has available. To perform code introspection, you first need to have the library loaded in your console. So I'll go ahead and import the library. Now the first thing I want to examine uh, from the pandas library is to check what the library is. For that all I have to do is call the library and add the question mark after the name. And that returns some text uh, which has some quick information about the library. And for more information you can use the health function. So the health function is just a built-in uh, Python function that takes as argument Python code or like fu functions, classes and methods and keywords and uh, returns some comprehensive information about them. So this is what we got from the help function. Uh, the first list here is important. Uh, these are the methods and objects that the pandas library is made of. Uh, so for instance, we see the read CSV method here, which uh, we used earlier. Uh, we also have other information that is not crucial to know for now. And, and down below we also have the version of the pandas library that, that I have installed in my computer. Uh, this is where the library is located. So a library is like a collection of, of .py scripts that reside uh, somewhere in uh, your computer. Anyway, uh, what is more important to know is again the list of functionalities that pandas have. Uh, you can retrieve a full list of features using the dir function. So dir and pass the name of the object you want to introspect. So we want to check pandas. And here is what you have. So you can access any of these features using the dot notation. For instance, if you want to know uh, uh, what the pivot method is about, you can just go ahead and type in pandas.pivot and a question mark. And here is shown what the pivot method does. And it also describes the parameters uh, you input to the method. Similarly, you can explore other methods and functions of the library. For instance, let's explore the data frame object. So pandas.dataframe. So pandas data frame object is like a prototype that holds the data you open in Python. Uh, then this pandas data frame object has yet other methods inside it. So what we're talking about here is a tree. Uh, the roots of this tree is a pandas library and, and the tree has many branches. Uh, these branches may have other branches as well belonging to them. To see a list of branches of the data frame branch, uh, you again can use the dir method. So just like this. And these are all the functionalities you can apply to a data frame object. So if you can recall it, for instance, you can export the data frame to an Excel file, a HTML table, or etc. And again, if you need to know about these methods, go ahead and ask for information using the pandas.dataframe.toExcel, for example. And here is how to use the method and what parameters to pass. So that's what I wanted to show you in this lecture and I hope that will help you along your way of uh, using and mastering Python. Thank you.